it's like brutal cold. I don't know, guys. I'm like paralyzed. Do you understand? My hand was shaking the other day. I'm like, oh, great. What is this? The start of uh, Parkinson's disease? I said, it's all I fucking need right now. I, I tell you what. I, that's, all, that's all I need. I just want to know if you have Parkinson's disease, like, how do you take a piss? Does it just, like, go all over the place? You got to install, like, a big urinal in the house? I don't know. One of the, th those urinals that go all the way down to the floor. Did you ever see these in the old, like, municipal buildings? High, old high schools and stuff like that? That's how you know you were in a fancy high school when you had the urinals that went all the way down to the floor. This is, like, this was forward thinking. Now you get these little urinals. They're going up your crotch. I mean, you got to rest your balls on the goddamn, on the lip of the thing. I always go to the low urinal. Like the one for kids. I'm like, hey, why don't I splash piss all over myself? Guys, are you peeing your pants? I got the solution for you. Okay? You ever get that annoying pee stain in the front of your pants? I know it happens. Basically displaying to the world that, I don't know, you have impo improper prostate function. What's that? What's that? Did you spill coffee on yourself, Jess? No, 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 no. That, uh, I, I peed my pants. That's right. The old prostate's acting up. You, you want to talk about it? I remember I used to work with this old guy, Ron. And, uh, and my fucking coffee mug's not working again. God damn you to hell. I don't know what happened. What is the friggin' valve freeze or something? God, oh God. It's like, it's coming out here is like going to a torture chamber. Yeah, this guy, this fucking janitor, Ron. Just to give you a background story on Ron, all right? I remember one time a woman took a horrendous shit in a toilet bowl. Oh, yeah, this is wonderful life of a maintenance man. You gotta understand something. When women use the toilet, I, I, I don't know what they tell their friends. I'm eating fiber. This, uh, women eat like all this garbage to try to be healthy and then the most unhealthy creatures alive. Go to a woman's toilet. This woman took a dump in the toilet. It was like somebody laid a piece of sod. Grass side up. I said, what the hell is that for, uh, for, for fucking God's sake? And Ron goes in there and he snaps a, a rubber glove on. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I got to get it down. I'm like, get it down. Isn't there a plunger somewhere? The ain't a sandbox, guy. And get a stick from outside. That was always the thing in, 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 in our house. If somebody took, you know, the uh, Brooklyn Bridge type of suspension bridge shit across the bottom of the bowl, it's like, hey, asshole, go outside and get a stick now. You're on stick duty, literally. And you go in there and you're sticking the stick. I mean, you're like gagging. I'm throwing up in my pants just thinking about it. And you're jabbing and stabbing. Oh, my God. Remember, remember that sometimes you'd flush like five times. The damn thing wouldn't go down. You had to get a stick. This is it's a, it's stick time. Guys. You sure you have nothing to do? I mean, come on. Go put air in the tires for crying out loud. Anything. And read a book. Can I have coffee, please? Uh. Yeah, so he goes in there gloves first. Like he's gonna, I don't know, mash potatoes. I had to I had to walk out. I said, I don't know, I quit. I gotta get another job. Somebody get me another job, please. And I end up like this guy. And he used to say to him, I say, Ron, how you doing today? And the, the first thing he would say to me, he'd go, uh, you know, I'm having problems going to the bathroom. 
Like, okay, uh, listen, Ron, see you later, buddy. I mean, what's next? So that's it. When you get a piece stain in your pants, do you understand you take two pieces of paper towel, you roll them up in a ball, and you, from the inside and the outside, you do like a, a reverse rotation polish, like this, piece stain gone instantly, dries it out. You gotta get it on both sides. And then you gotta go to the source of the problem, because guess what, guys? I'm gonna tell everybody out there right now, women out there, when you see a guy with a piece stain, okay, this is the tip of the iceberg. Do you have any idea how much pee it took to get to the front of the jeans? You have no idea what's going on behind. The, the, the boxer shorts, the drawers are drenched. So you're like, oh my God, this has got to be, I don't know, two pumps of pee in there. You know the last pumps after you get done peeing? This has got to be, I don't know, 50 cc's? Anyway, if I ever get married, most certainly I'm going to walk down the aisle with a pee stain in my pants. I mean, just to just to completely embarrass my life from this time moving forward. Yeah, it'll be in like the photographer will take, uh, I don't know, zoomed in pictures of it. And in my face, I don't know. Anyhow, I go to work and... God fucking damn this mug it to hell. Sitting in the break room, talking to this guy. Haitian guy. He's telling me about how he's gotta get he's leaving here. I said, Oh, you going home? He's like, Oh, not not really going home. He goes, uh to next job. I don't know why he speaks like Captain Caveman, but hey. So uh, I said, next job, I, where else do you work? He's like, oh, I work at Walmart. I, I said, oh, yeah? Yeah, he goes from 2 to 11. He was getting out at 2 o'clock. He came in at, I don't know, whatever the hellhole time you have to come in to leave at 2, two o'clock in the, in the afternoon. Uh, and he goes, I go straight to the other job. I said, Jesus, Crimler. We're talking 16-hour days here. And I'm sitting there think I'm like, this guy, uh, listen, I knew Jamaican guys. You know, they, they say Jamaican guys, they have a bunch of jobs. It's fucking true. These guys, I, I don't know what happens. Though. These guys work like incredible. This guy was working, again, two, two full-time jobs and then side jobs on top of that. And he did that for like a fucking, I got to say, 10 years. So this guy was starting on that journey. You understand? And I got news for you right now. The guy, the guy. Uh, after a couple of years of this, you, you're gonna want to. He, I, I don't know how, how these Haitians get here. They load on a boat. Do you understand? And then they just crash it right into the United States. And then they start running. Am I wrong? Am I fucking wrong? I said, holy shit! What a ride. First, you crash a boat. I mean, the thing is doing coming in like a top fuel dragster. They hit the the boat goes up on the beach. People are like trying to like enjoy the the waves and what. Imagine that your kids in the water. The boat comes up right next to them. Like Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on here? They go, or they go. This moving so fast. They go up the beach and like halfway across the highway. They jump out. I mean, this has got to be the run for your life. Where do you go? 7-Eleven? Where the fuck do you run to? Do you got do you like connections over here? And even how do you even get there? You got a you got do you got a Rand McNally on you? Ah, fuck! They all probably have iPhones. What are you gonna do? Yep, yeah, there's uh, there's my buddy's house. Let's run this way. Oh my God, you have a fucking beer that night, huh? When you get to wherever you gotta go, I don't even know where you're going. I imagine some guys just uh, uh, like, like uh, hit outside, you know? Maybe like uh, behind some trash cans or something. Till you get to the, then you gotta be like, wow. 
I don't even know if these guys have shoes on. Then they got to find shoes. This is like Terminator now. They got to find like an outfit. I don't know how dressed they are. <sighs> guys, I don't know what to tell you. So this guy's working. To, I said, there's only a matter of time. I, if I was him, I would save up. And I'm, and me and my partner were looking at each other. We we're like, who the fuck would work 16 hours a day? And I started to think about it. And I'm like, man. This guy, one day he's going to snap and like buy a, a race boat. Do you understand? And just throw it opposite in the water. That's what I would do. I'd be like, fuck this place. I got to work 16 hours a day. Because you come become like a slave to it. I said, this is a guy that comes from nothing. Let's face it. And uh, I said, he wants something. He wants something. So this is why he's working like this. But after a while, I said, let him turn American. That's what these Haitian guys don't understand. You want to come he come here? You want to you want to be American? All right. Then you'll be working 19 hours a day. That's right. And wait till he gets the American wife. That's what's going to happen next. Oh my God! Bitching and screaming, kids running around. This guy's working. He comes home. He just wants to take a shit and a nap. Are you kid? And they're bitching at him. She's buying a purse for a thousand dollars. If I was him, I'd get. I'd I'd steal a boat. And fucking gas it up and go right back to Haiti. I'd be crashing back into Haiti. I'm about to go crash into Haiti. That's what I want to do. They'll never find me. Oh my God. White guy who jumps off a boat in the middle of Haiti. Uh, um, they'll never find me. Uh, um, all right. Uh, guys, I don't know. What do you want me to tell you? I got to deal with that. Then I got to deal with... I get on my floor scrubber machine. We got a machine scrubs the floor. I get on it. I call it the break room on wheels. I said, honestly, this is like do nothing job of all time. Get on there and it's like a big vacuum cleaner. You understand? You're falling asleep. You have to pry your eyes open on this machine. It's like, you know how you, when a baby doesn't go to sleep, you start up a vacuum cleaner because that makes sense. It's like, I don't know. Can I, can I, can I set off a, a, a pack of black cats in here too? Would that, would, that, would that put you right into REM? Hold on, uh, baby's baby's got to go uh, go to sleep. Start slamming pots and pans together. Hey, kiddo, lullaby and good night. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, turn on the vacuum cleaner. So I'm on a gigantic vacuum cleaner sitting down and the machine is vibrating. It's like you, you couldn't devise a, a better device for putting somebody to sleep. So I drive by the guy who's trying to turn his, his grandma key into a police car. I mean, this is the kind of type of guy we're talking about. I know I have to say that all the time. So you realize that, you know, the caliber of dead brain cells on a person. Anyhow, yes, like Ram bumper lights. I, if this is like two, this is like, like grown men are like four years old. I want to be a policeman. I'm like, are you kidding me? So he's like, you think I can go down to, uh, I don't know, some store and buy hubcaps for my car. He, he's missing a hubcap. And he asked me if he could buy it from the store or something. And I just like, I was like, what, Dave? I'm like, you can't buy hubcaps anymore. I said, well, you, you, what, are you kidding me? He's like, and he's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, Dave, I'm like, are you that out of touch that you think you can go to a store and buy a hubcap for your car? And I can see him, like the, the blood is starting to boil. So I said, uh, that's it. I'm launching this one into the stratosphere. I said, Dave, if you want a hubcap, you should go to the junkyard. You know, the place where your car belongs. And then I hit the gas. And I swear to God, he was hanging on to the side of the machine while I'm driving away. Like, like he's going to stop it. Yeah. Are you kidding me? This thing is like a Tesla plant. Compared to all the other warehouse equipment, he's trying to hold on to the side and stop me. I'm like, I have my foot to the, to the fucking, to the firewall. You have no idea. I was 
out of there. And it was like Jurassic Park, the Tyrannosaurus Rex chasing me. I mean, I don't, those are the happy moments that keep you going in your life, you know? I know. Guys, what do you want me to tell you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something about Canada. And now, guys, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm American. And, like, you ask any other American, they're like, Canada, what? They're like, these guys are like, I don't even know how to tell you. They're at the library. We're at the Guns N' Roses concert. Do you understand? Thank you. So, I mean, I remember going to the to the stationery store and seeing like WCW magazine with Ric Flair cutting himself, like Ric Flair with the crimson mask on the cover. And I was like, what? What the fuck wrestling is this? Guys, I didn't have cable. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, what wrestling is this? I'm watching WWF and I'm like, I don't see guys with bloody faces. So I looked through this thing and it was always Ric Flair. Ric Flair, remember that blonde hair, the capes, the robes. The bloody face. I say, Jesus, Crimela. Where I don't even know. I didn't figure out this existence like a few years ago. Like the whole WCW. And it was always WWF for me. Anyway, so, you know, I didn't get fucking Fraggle Rock. You know, like it was all on cable. It fucking sucks. I didn't get MTV. As a kid, you had th 13 channels, not even. You had two, four, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 21. And if you stroke the antenna, maybe TV 55, where you could listen to rapping Rodney, Rodney Dangerfield rapping as the president of the United States. I mean, if you want to throw up into your pants, it was the greatest. <laughs> We'll watch Chaka Khan videos. Remember that? Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan. Da 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 da. Chaka Khan. Di 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 da da di da do. Chaka Khan. Di 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 do da da. I mean, this is. I was like, what kind of goddamn music is it? I mean, guys, it's a party in here. You didn't know. So yeah, I'd see these magazines, but on the front, oh, oh you, Mad Magazine. It was like wrestling magazines and Mad Magazines. Hello? Hello? And you always had mom with the fucking dumb cosmopolitan. You know how women have like a million and one dumb women's magazines? Back then? Come on, it was like woodworking magazines. You didn't have fucking men's fitness. It's like woodworking magazines and this type of thing. Model train magazines. Oh my God. I'm popping a rut. Anyhow. So I remember, I remember Mad Magazine was like an extra dollar if you want to buy it in Canada. I'm like, fuck that place. Even as a kid. Like these guys can, what a nightmare existence. And then you, and then you find out it's cold up there. You're like, ah, fucking colder than this. But fucking colder than this, you know how far away Canada is? Fuck that. Fuck that in a paper bag. But I can tell you right now, I have never been so jealous of Canada as I am right now. Can you believe what these truckers are doing? Come on, round of applause. Round of a fucking applause. And I sit there and I watch these Canadians do it. And I say to myself, boy, oh boy, I don't think Americans have the, the guts or the balls. And I said, wow, that makes me sad. It makes me sad that, that Canada did this first. It's like Sputnik. When these Russians put that satellite up in a fucking orbit, you're like, motherfucker. You understand American leaders were like, God, fucking damn it. Are you serious right now? They're in the control room with the glasses and the skinny tie. 
Goddamn Russians. Nah. That's it. We got to put a man on the moon. Any volunteers? People raise their hands. This is a great thing. If I told if I told people right now, hey, we're gonna put you in a rocket and we're gonna try to shoot you to Jupiter, even though we know it's nothing but a gas giant, so there's nothing to land on. So what you do is you basically go into to hyperterminal velocity as you approach an amazingly hot uh, ball of gas. Who's in? People will raise their hands. If I'm president of the United States. We get rid of all those people that would raise their hands. I'm sorry. These are but, 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 uh, but, uh, pe these are gonna be the stupidest people alive. People are raising their hand to go to the moon. Oh, not only that. Not only listen. If I go to the moon, I'm not going through intensive training. Fuck you. Build a ship that's gonna do all the work, motherfucker. I, now I gotta hop into a fucking tank of wa of water and hold my breath as long as I can. They gotta put me in this goddamn merry-go-round from hell that spins you up to nine G's until your face is ripping off. I gotta go through all this shit just so you can send me on this fucking suicide mission? You kidding me? You better, you better listen. I, I better get on that, that fucking... You better have seats in that rocket from a, a Cadillac Eldorado, you son of a bitch. Why would you want to go to the moon? Listen, my version of going to the moon is like, I don't know, a chick's ass. What's better? You want to go to the moon? You got ass down here that you could stick your nose into. And this Yahoo wants to go to the moon? So you can go up there and kick rocks around? Give me a fucking break. I ain't going anywhere until there's like uh, hot chicks in outer space. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they got a fucked up face, but they got like a butter face. There's like tentacles coming out. You're like, oh, but they got smoking hot bodies. Oh, my God. They're like beyond smoking hot bodies. You're like, Jesus Christ, but you got tentacles coming out of her face. You're looking at it. You're like, let me give you a, a kiss. And then the gills open up. It's like, and it makes the noise like the predator. And you're like, ha, okay, no, no tongue kissing today. Or oh, it's got the fucking opens the mouth and the fucking mandibles come out. It's like, you're like, oh man, you're trying to bang her. And she's like, I don't know. This horns coming out of the, to the back of the head. Hey, maybe you hang on to him. Hey, it's a party. What am I going to tell you? She's like super hot, but she's covered in scales. It smells like a fucking uh, a codfish laying on a driveway in the middle of July. What are you going to do? I've been with some girls like that. What am I going to tell you? Listen, you, if you've ever been drunk enough and horny enough, I mean, you'll stick your dick into, I don't know, a bag of asphalt. I'm going to tell you something right now. I've been with some women that stunk. I, I ain't going to tell you. You just fight your way through it. You're like, uh, I don't know. What are you going to do? What is this? Is this, uh, did you spill cottage cheese in your lap? I don't know. I'm going in. Guys, my mother's watching. Do you understand? I do not know where this is going whatsoever. What are we talk? Oh, the Canadian truckers. This is a wonderful thing. Oh my God, this is great. And this Trudeau guy, I mean, they should fucking, what What did he do? He ran away, that little fucking chicken shit coward. <laughs> what a piece of shit. And he's like, they're like stealing, he's ordering the police to steal gas cans off the back of these truck driver's trucks. Can you believe that? What a cocksucker. <laughs> it's like break the law to maintain the law. Yeah, okay. He's threatening the truckers that if they break the law, they're going to get their licenses stripped. All, all these things. You have no idea that this communist country now, right? This dictator. You got this dictator in, in office. And, and then he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna tell them about breaking the law and steal gas off the back of their trucks. Fuck him. Fuck him and his mother, too. I don't know who she is, but fuck her. Fucking asshole. 
I mean, take listen. I heard, I heard they're going, they're cranking it up in Europe and in Australia too. I tell you, boys, I'm with you. I'm with you. Can you imagine this? Truckers and farmers, the backbone of your country. What they got the farmers involved. They're driving out, blocking bridges. What do you? You go ahead and move a combine. I love, I love it. I love it. It's like I'm with this Trudeau guy threatening to tow their trucks away and whatever, confiscate their vehicles. Yeah, okay. Come get the con the convoy that's laying across I-95. The the fucking uh, the convoy. The fucking uh, the combine. Oh my god! If the tr if the tow truck came near it, I'd turn on the front blade and just like I don't know, it would turn into a, a, a fucking. It turned into a wood chipper and just spit the fucking tow truck out the other side. You ever see how big farm equipment is? It gets bigger and bigger. Like, Jesus Christ. What, what, what kind of garage do you need for that thing? And for a fleet of farm equipment, they got a garages you need. God almighty. You need aircraft hangers, literally. If you have like five combines, you need it. You need... An air, an aircraft hangar. Farmers drive out there. This is fantastic. Well, you know, listen. Don't get mad at people because, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. So, yeah, Canada. Canada. You know, you guys are uh, amazing. And I'm jealous of Canada for the first time in my life. Yep. I have a deep, deep respect for Canada now. Amen, brothers. Amen. What the fuck are we doing here? Guys. How far are we in here? 32 minutes. Jesus Christ. Callahan here? <laughs> Reporting for duty. Oh my god, piece of, piece of living shit. Anyhow. Just like that, we're scanning for crimes. That's Rita. Thank you, Rita. Oh. God almighty, on my hands. I don't know how I'm gonna make it through this. My hands and my shoes untied. <clears throat> I almost tripped on my shoe lace standing still. Ask me how that's possible. So it's Valentine's Day and I'm at work and I start talking to two two separate girls. Like I would I would just ask them, you know, hey, what are you doing tonight? You know, uh, are you like me? Do you have no reservations at all? That's right. For some reason, uh, around here in Long Island, New York, you have to make reservations three months ahead of time, Val three months ahead of Valentine's Day. I have news for you, ladies. If you if your man actually has reservations, he's a loser from Loserville. Nobody think no man thinks about Valentine's Day three months before actual Valentine's Day. Are you kidding me? That's when you I, I don't know. Divorce him. Oh. It, it, it's gonna be Valentine's Day in three. Uh, listen, I think about Valentine's Day literally the 24 hours before it. I have nothing. I, there is no plan. There's no reservations. I don't know. Call, I, thoughtless, careless. I don't know. You be the judge. Anyhow, so I'm talking to two other people, women, and they're telling me they don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I'm like, what, 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 what? I'm like, do, do you have a sister? Do you have a sister? For me, for Christ's sake. I have to tell you right now, Valentine's Day is the most depressing day of the year for me. And it's like, you can't even have sex on Valentine's Day. This is the biggest trope with, with men. It's like, 
You'll never, uh, like, after Valentine's Day, you'll never hear a guy be like, yeah, it really banged her out last night. Because guys, by the end of Valentine's Day, they can't even get their dick hard anymore. Because it's like you, you're being so nice and you're giving gifts and, and you, you this type of, like, lovey-dovey stuff. It just sucks the testosterone right out of you. I'm telling you right now. Don't let anybody lie to you. It's like you get to the end of the night, your wife's like, Hey, are we gonna have sex? And you're like, uh, hold on, as you're pulling out the canasta board. <sighs> I told we were gonna be together on Valentine's Day. You're like, oh, God, I'm getting nauseous. I'm getting nauseous. Yeah, what do I gotta do now? Massage your feet? I can't do it. My foot, my, my wife wants me to give her foot massages. I can't do it, it's not in my DNA. Sorry. I don't know how to tell you this right now. The one of her biggest problems with me is while she was pregnant, I wouldn't rub her feet. I'm like, who am I? Who am I? I don't touch your goddamn feet. I don't want to massage feet. I can't do it. I just, I can't do it. It's like eating uh, fucking green string beans when I was five. I can't do it. My father didn't believe me. He told me to eat the string beans. I said, I can't do it. I gag. And then I would eat the string beans. I would gag and my father would yell at me. <laughs> I can't fucking win. I'm in a nightmare town. It's like, rub your feet. Ah, what? I'd rather, I'd rather, I don't know. I'd rather break dance in my backyard with all the dog shit. You understand? I have so much dog shit outside. Thank God right now it's frozen. Like, you, you could roll your ankle walking through my yard, stepping on frozen dog shit. Like, I remember, I, I used to do jobs in people's backyards. And the guy would be like, hey, just watch out for the bombs. And you're like, how what? He's like, well, you know, the dog. The dog shit all over your backyard while I'm trying to build a play center. That's right, a playground. So I'm going to take up, like, I don't know, fucking 10 square yards here. Sure, I'm sure I won't be stepping anywhere where there's a fresh pile of your, by the way, he had an enormous dog. This dog came out, he was like two Rottweilers tied together. I'm like, what is this thing? What is, what is this, a bull mastiff? The dog was taking like Carvel shits all over the floor, do you understand? It was like, they were like little, little. They were like Entenmann's cakes. I'm like, holy atrocious. That, this, when you smell the dog shit in the backyard, I'm trying to build a play center. I'm on my back. I'm like, Are you. it's so stressful. Like, it's better to just clean up the fucking yard because it's so stressful crossing my yard. It's like Metal Gear Solid. I'm like, look, I'm scanning, I'm jumping, I'm dodging. I don't know what the fuck were we talking about Valentine's Day oh my god so what are you gonna do we wound up going to my mother-in-law's house and uh I had a Jewish guy was there telling me about how the world's coming to an end it's like listen guy I gotta watch like the late show after talking to you that's basically it. I get done with talking to this guy. I'm like, all right. Well, you know, anybody got a, uh, hand me a, hand me a steak knife for my wrists. I mean, what, what do I just hop in the bathtub with a, a fucking lamp cord? This is like horrendous. I'm so depressed after talking to this guy. We're drinking wine. That's number one. I love it. It's the bottle of wine from Italy. Somebody had a bottle of wine from Italy. We got to hear about it all night long. Just pour the fucking wine. And this guy's rattling on about how the world's going to end. I'm getting drunker and drunker. I'm exhausted. Because it, it's like 7.30 at night. And I'm already exhausted. The eyes start watering. Now you just start staring at somebody. 
and like the eyes water and they're like are you okay and you're like uh i said i haven't been listening to a word you say i'm just watching your lips go up and down and that's about it and the world's gonna end we're going into we're going into ukraine world war three they're rigging the elections uh we'll never have a regular vote again these people are stupid americans are so stupid that's what that's what you get all night that's the gist of the conversation americans are so stupid and i gotta sit there and say you know what i can't argue with you <laughs> i can't even argue with you but i'm sitting there agreeing yeah you know something you're right <laughs> you know it's like this type of thing and is uh, yeah did you see this putin guy he's like threatening nuclear war I'm like, I love the fucking cojones on this guy. <laughs> he basically said, yeah, we're going to go into the Ukraine. And, you know, if any of the uh, NATO nations get involved, well, we have nuclear capabilities that far exceed any of their capabilities. So, you know, this isn't going to end well. That was verbatim. That was verbatim. You're like, this isn't going to end well. Da, ra, ra. Stay away from Putin. <laughs> I mean, Putin can launch uh, nukes over here to the United States, right? Do me a favor, Putin. Aim right here. I'm going to put an X on my shed. I'm telling you right now, if a nuclear bomb hit the shed right now, do you think I feel? I'd just be gone. That's it. Gone. It's like anesthesia. This guy, this guy's telling me how he's going to get a colonoscopy. I'm like, oh, great. I said, I don't want to tell you about the last time. I, I When I had a colonoscopy, I sat there and I turn around. He's going in with the camera. And I said, Doc, I don't mind the camera, but what's with the boom microphone? Uh, uh, um, uh, um, um. I mean, listen, uh, what were colonoscopies like in the 80s? Did the guy come out? Uh, all right, we got the rectum cam. Uh, oh, shit, I forgot the battery pack that clips on the bottom. Hold on a second. Shh. All right, we're going in. Oh, my God. And you're like, no, no, come on. And, and the doc's like, we're just going to put the lens in. Um, and you're like, oh, my God, they're filming the inside of my asshole. You know, come on. And then they got to take it to the developer. You know, they stick it in the water. And they're like, oh, look at that. Look at that rectum. Huh. Boy, oh boy. Oh, he doesn't got long to live. Hang that one over here. I'm taking a copy of that. Uh, and so you, you imagine that you're the guy that develops the film for the, for the colonoscopy. You know, people that like check the, like the MRI technician, the guy that works the MRI. He like, uh. He's studying to be a real doctor, but right now he just works the MRI. And you know how they can't tell you anything? Like you go into the MRI and he knows what's going on. He sees a million MRIs. And you come out and you're like, and you look at him and he's, he's like, he, hey, don't buy any green bananas anytime soon. And you're like, what? Uh, uh. Yeah, the MRI technician is like, oh boy. That's got to be like six months. He comes out, the guy's like, hey, you might want to take your 401k and buy a Ferrari. Not saying anything. Not saying anything. You know, I'm just a technician. I just uh, copy the images. But, uh, yeah, you might want to get, like, uh, three eight balls. And, uh, I don't know. And a hook, and a, a fucking, uh, a fleet of hookers before you go. What's MRI machine? I tell you something right now. If I was a billionaire, the first thing I would buy is an MRI machine. That's right. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sick and tired of doctors. I feel like going like well, like you kick open the doc at his office, and he's like, "Hello, Mr. Burns, sit down." And I'm like, "Listen, doc, let's cut the bullshit. Where's the MRI?" Oh, <clears throat> that's that's basically it. This is like you're full of shit. You're taking guesses. Where's the MRI machine? That's all. And I want one in my house. 
That way I don't have to wait 10 months to get one. I love this. You got to get approval. You got to do this. You got to do that. I get my own MRI machine. Suck my dick. I'll be hopping in that thing every day. What do we got today? See any cancer cells? I mean, then I go to my own fucking uh, radiation center. Do you have any idea? That's basically what you got to do as a millionaire. I don't know why this Jeff Bezos is spending $450 million on a yacht. You need radiation mach machines, cancer doctors, ready in tow. We're going to nip this thing in the bud. They, I MRI myself. They're like, uh, they're like, oh, you have only one cancer cell. It's like, all right, pull out the, 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 the laser of radiation and zap that thing. To hell. Anyway. Oh my God. That you want you want to talk you want to get blown at a ball. You're at Applebee's. And you're like, it's getting to the end of the night, you just want to get laid. You, you start talking to this broad, you're like. She's like, so what are you doing? He's like, ah, ah, I don't know. I gotta get home. Uh I left the MRI machine on again. MRI machine? Yeah, yeah I live over in Brightwaters, you know? And uh, they're actually coming to replace all of my uh, copper gutters and downspouts tomorrow. Yeah. And the chimney guys are coming to clean out the seven chimneys on my goddamn house. So, you know. Oh, yeah? You know, it's supposed to snow tonight. He's like... Uh, this is all the things that you know are like a very wealthy house. Yeah, it's all right. I have the things that stop the snow from sliding off the roof. That's how you know your, your, your house is like in a nice neighborhood. When you have the things that stop the snow on the roof. Yeah. Yeah, I got those things to stop, the, for, for, to stop snow from hitting me in the head. Ooh, very dangerous. I guess a couple people must have died for them to put those fucking things on the roof. And they're always made out of copper and they, they, they get that green patina to them, like the Statue of Liberty. Like, wow, this house is worth a lot. You know, you know those old beautiful homes that you would go visit as a kid? Like the museum homes and whatnot. They had beautiful bedrooms, luxurious tapestries and this type of thing. The bed with the, with the four bed posts that go up and the... The thing around, the curtains around the bed, like your uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. You throw them open for Christmas time, you hop in your slippers and tell everybody how you're gonna change. Oh my God, these types of houses. And you go in the kitchen and you're like, oh boy. There's like this fucking, like ceramic uh, fucking oven in there. Cow cast iron with like, like, oh, that's the kitchen. That's where you cook, throw wood in there. You're like, oh boy, this house kind of lost a few points. And the kitchen was always like, I don't know, there was like a, a slaughter table in the middle. Guys, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, you tell the broad, yeah. Yeah, the uh, that goddamn MRI machine, it's like, I don't know. When you leave the power on, it's like 50 grand a day. You have no idea, a high-powered magnet in there? You ever see how uh, when you activate an MRI machine, it could like suck an office chair from across the room into it. You never saw these guys? They put the office chair in the MRI machine. It's an incredibly powerful magnet. I remember when they told me that when I went in, you have any metal filings in your eyes? I'm like, yeah. My eyeballs are more metal filings than eyeballs at this point from using a grinder all my life. I'm like, great, I'm gonna go into the, the MRI machine. They're gonna, they're gonna turn it on and I'm gonna look like Large Marge from Pee Wee's A Big Adventure. My eyes are going to come flying out of my head. If I say, fuck it, I, I don't mind looking like the guy from Event Horizon when he goes to fucking hell. <sighs> Guys, we're here for a purpose. Anyway, you get a, you get a Hans Blowy. Oh, yeah. She's like, oh, my God. She says to all her friends. She says to her friends, Guys, uh, I got a ride tonight. So, yeah. And they're like, what are you talking about, Cindy? And he's like, see that guy over there? He's got a fucking MRI machine. And they're like, oh, okay. Get him, girl, get him. Then you pull up, you're both drunk now. You're like, you wanna get in the MRI machine? Come on, I'll check you for cancer. 
And she's like, oh, yeah. And she hops in, but she's got a jewelry on. And you, you turn on the MRI, and she's like, bang, 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 off the ceiling. You're like, Jesus Christ, how do you shut it off again? Yeah. And then, I don't know, she's like, explodes in there. And you're like, oh, my God, what do I do now? You call that guy from fucking uh, Pulp Fiction, the wolf. He shows up. Clean it up. He's like, a fucking MRI machine? Are you kidding me? He's got to call a tractor trailer in. You got to crane it out of there. You ever see, ever see that all those fucking MRI machines are made by Siemens? You don't care? Neither do I. Guys, what I want to do today is I want to present you with something I've wanted, I've wanted to do my entire life. And that is to pit the Atari 2600, the inferior Atari 2600. Guys, I grew up playing Atari 2600, okay? But there was a kid on the block that had a ColecoVision, Rex. And I wound up getting a ColecoVision in, in, in the most celebrated moment in my life in video game history when I was ahead of the curve. I actually had ColecoVision while other people had Atari. I had the superior console. But is it the superior console? And there's only one way to find out. Atari versus Coleco! Picture, picture time! the controller, tap into the innocent line, pipe through the Santui 1010, charging atomic batteries, kill the lights of attrition, and move you into prime time position. God damn it. Now, um, you guys gotta help me out here. Well, I don't know how you're going to help me out because you're probably going to be watching this about 24 hours after it's edited. So... Made every Mario game. You oh conquered every Mario all right, game. All right. You think you've mastered all there is to know about Mario. Well, you better think again. New Super Mario World. Made possible by the power of the Super Nintendo Entertainment wow. System. You've never faced the challenge of so many enemies, so many obstacles, so many levels. You never needed help from a dinosaur before. Super Mario World. Oh my god, can you imagine that? It's part of the growing line of From a dinosaur, kids were fucking pissing their pants. You gotta have it. You got a reputation. Now you're playing with power. Super power. Sorry guys, I'm trying to warm up my hands. They're fucking stinging. Oh my god, let me go back to the warmer. Hold on. While we're loading. Oh god, this feels good. I have my hand directly on the heating element. And I can't feel it. I'm going to say Donkey Kong. Who, baby. And we'll go to the Atari 2600 first. Do, 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 Waka, 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 waka. <laughs> oh, my Lord. It's a gingerbread man up there. Are you kidding me? How do you start? Oh. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, go up, go up. Oh, oh boy, that I would have been killed there. Jesus Christ, I'm la. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, come on guys, classic Donkey Kong coming at you. Oh my God, you fat pig. Get up the stairs, you fat pig. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh, it's not bad. Look at this. It's not bad. Oh, boy. How come you can't see it? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, fuck. 
can't go downstairs right now, right? <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is a fun game. Look at this. These guys don't go up or down, do they? Oh, this is a snap. Oh shit, I went back, what a dummy. All right. Coleco, how far away? Oh, right there. Oh, it's so fun to play ColecoVision, guys. These are my least watched videos, but I love ColecoVision. The very first console that I owned. What's that? Nobody cares? Um, okay, whenever you're ready to start, I'm ready. Whenever you're ready to start, I'm ready. Uh, one. Oh my god, look, what are we at, the arcade? Okay, oh, we're in, baby. Oh yeah! Look, we can make a, a, a rap sample with this, hold on. I don't know what we're doing! I'm not even gonna grab the hammer. Oh! Come on, get up there, you... Look at, look at that nose! Look at that nose! Hide the coke! Oh, yeah, baby, give me that ass now! Oh! Oh, come on, how cheap! How fucking cheap? Where are they gonna... Okay, here we go. Are they gonna fuck me tender again? Alright. Alright. Fool me once. Shame on you. Here we go. I'm getting the hell away from that side of the screen. Oh! Let's get the UFO! Oh! I hit the wrong button. Damn it! Oh, what's this? Game over? Game over? Ah, fuck you. So guys, let's go back to... Oh boy. Let's go back to the Atari. And I'm sorry. We, they, Defender. Defender, right? Well, we know Atari had Defender. Did, did Coleco have Defender? Well, we'll find out. Very cold. <laughs> You're the defender God has sent. Ride like the wind, fight proud, my son. You're the defender! God has sent! proud! Come on, man of war! Alright. Whoa, whoa. It's that classic Atari sound. Wow. Look at this. What a laser! Oh, shit! Yes. Talk about AI. Oh, come on. You motherfucker. Come here, motherfucker. That's it. You're out of here. What is this? That's right. Whoa. Wow, you have to appreciate the speed. Oh, shit. Right, we can turn both ways, can't we? Wow, this was amazing stuff, guys, you have to admit. We're flying over a city. Oh, boy. All right, you get the basic look here. Okay. My crime line, my hands are freezing. Defend Defender. Yes. Okay. 
Oh God, warm the hands, warm the hands, warm the hands. Oh, 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 here we go. Look at this. Never played Defender on, uh... okay. On Coleco. Oh, whoa, Super Bomb? Shit. Okay, we got some, wow, we got some scumbag aliens here. Look at this, very different. We can save these guys? All right, I, 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 I'm trying to figure this out. You gotta give me a second here. All right, fuck the guys on the floor. Oh my God. Okay. Play it too. That, I guess that's me as well. Oh boy. This is hard. Oh wow, there we go. It's a... This is advanced! Let me tell you something. We got parallax scrolling here, guys. The stars in the mountainside? Damn it! I'm gonna use my super bomb. Wow, can we get these little guys down here? I'm stuck. Jesus, Crimler! Here we go. It's certainly not as fast as the Atari. It doesn't feel as fast. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Hey! Let's do that again. Oh, let's get one of these guys. Can't get them? Oh, boy. Oh, out of here, bitch. Oh, here we go. We passed the first level. Oh wow. Here we go. Super bomb. Super bomb. Out of here. <laughs> yeah? Out of here. I missed all of you, but okay. Wow, guys. That's Defender. I don't know. I don't know which one's better. Hold on a second. Let's see. We're on Commodore 64 somehow, some way. Okay, what other game? Frogger. Oh, Galaxian. Oh, boy. Let's go to Atari. Galaxian. This is one I wish I would have did in the... Uh, oh, yeah, baby. Ooh, in the summertime, because my hands are, are killing me right now. Oh, boy. Wow, Galaxy in 1982. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, player one, let's go. Oh, here we go. Jeez. Listen to the sound effects. Oh yeah, out of here. We go efficiently. One and oh damn! I'm looking at the top of the screen. I'm not paying attention to my aggressors. Two, three, four. You're out of here. One, two. Oh. Oh come on, come on. You're out of here. Oh, the last bitch out of here. Whoa! Oh, they're pouring on the coals now. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. Guys, are we like first vert vertically scrolling shooter here? This is an incredible piece of history. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, we get the basic idea. Over to the Coleco. Coleco Vision. Oh, Gyrus. Galaxian. Oh. Oh. Whoa. 
Wow. Looks good. Holy shit. Your ship is less responsive, I'll tell you that. Oh my god, what a pleasure to play these games on a fucking gamepad instead of the joystick. That nightmare of a... Both joysticks a nightmare. Oh, we gotta clear the level. We gotta clear the level. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Game over. Fuck me. Can we do one more? What are we talking about? Saxon? Saxon? Yes. T-U-V. Oh. Saxon! We got you. Oh, yeah. M M. Oh, boy. What? Are you serious? No. This is Saxon? Oh my god, this sucks. Oh my, what an unfortunate game. What do we go up? This is a nightmare. How do I shoot? I'm kicking. Well, listen to that sound. Okay, all right. So we're matching altitudes here. I can't find this guy's altitude. Okay, he's all the way up. Jeez. There's a wall. Let's go above the wall. My God, somebody kill me. This is horrible. <laughs> so this is the full on uh, vertical scrolling shooter, not isometric. Oh my God, we're here? We're at Zaxxon? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Peace. Peace. God almighty. Oh my god, we're still alive. I don't know if I want to see anymore. Oh boy. Oh my god. Alright. I can't take it. I can't take it. Saxon was one of those games that I loved to play and I hated to play. I don't know how to explain that. Here we go. I don't know what I'm selecting. Oh. Oh, yes. This is the Saxon I remember. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. The controls are a little unusual. No? Okay, left, right. Okay, up and down. All right. Here we go. All right. Oh, I used to get those barrels. Oh, shit! Alright. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, here we go. Oh, listen to the altitude, the sound of the, of the engine change. Alright, shoot the fuel barrels, right? Oh, yeah. Those missiles never got you. Oh, shit. Why not just fly over everything? Oh, you had to have a certain amount of points to get the Zaxxon, right? Oh, your mother's ass. Guys, I, I, got, I got a headache. Ah, and my hands are about to fall off. The nose is running. 
We're a mess over here. Did you realize that you just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization? And you better believe that. With a 4K face! We'll see you next time. Guys, I'm about to die out here. We have a show on Patreon. That's right. Email me. Write me. Put advices in the header. We do this show on the fly. It's the advice program. People write in with horrible, horrible things happening in, uh, in their lives. Sometimes awesome things. Like the guy who who's, whose wife wanted a girlfriend. That's right. An additional sex partner in the house. Oh my God, I'm throwing a boner. That's right. So, I mean, we give wonderful advices just like this. And then fuck, you might start it and fucking wipe out the cam. <laughs> that's a big that's a big thing going on these days. None of the fucking lifters are hardened properly because apparently they don't know anything about metallurgy in China. So people are wiping out cams left and right. Comp cams, to be specific. So there you go. There's a little <coughs> on comp cams. The kicker is she will be invisible. All right. Come on. All right, guy. Each week, I will use all my invisible tools. I got to go. I got to go. Come on. They got to give you drinks when, as soon as you go to rehab. They understand you're coming down. You can't just stop drinking. It's like heroin and alcohol. Are those two things you just can't stop doing. Well, you'll die. The withdrawals can kill you. So when you go in, they're like, oh, you're here for... You here for alcoholism? Yeah, here, have a seat. You know, and then they like half power the booze every couple of days. They, my girlfriend of seven years made a friend. They became good friends over last summer. They've been getting closer and closer. And recently she asked me if she can kiss her friend. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where are all these friends? I want my wife to have these friends. This is such a heartwarming story. What's that? You want to eat snow until you go into hypothermia and die. I get it. So do I. So do I. So that's why you should come to me for advices. Email me right here. We solve all your problems. Just like that. Patreons, I can't tell you how grateful I am for all the support. And uh, I'm just so happy to uh, have you guys on board. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.